Warning, this video contains action scenes of real and knockoff Transformer toys in fantasy play. Please don't be concerned about seeing these toys fight it out because in the end there's a lesson here about the good toys versus the bad ones. Oh! Oh! Oh, hope Optimus Prime's never a dentist. Hello everyone, we're going to look at Transformers Biddy Law, yay! We've got a lot of Transformers to look at, don't we? Yeah. Lots. I'm going to try and squeeze these through. Uh, we'll be looking at things like that. We'll be looking at things like that. We'll be looking at some rescue bot doodars as well. Hey, there's even more over here. Yep. We've got some one-step stuff to look through that we've finally found. And along the way, they're going to battle these very nasty dark side knockoff Transformer toys. I'm excited. I'm sure you're excited. Let's do it. Transformers in disguise. Which one of these incredible toys do you want to look at first? The big one. The big one? Ooh, Optimus Primal is first. Well, okay, I'll clear off a lot of the toys on the table here. We're going to leave these fakers to have a fight, but we need some room to look at Optimus Primal correctly, don't we? Yep. Activate the Dino Hide. Oh, yeah, this Optimus Primal hasn't been unboxed yet. Um, I found this sort of by accident, actually. I look at the back of the box here so what? you can see it. That's what the back of the box looks like. It's a very impressive toy. It's a very noisy toy too. Uh, it's interesting, we've got the little one here, which is a very, very nice little transforming toy. It was one of my son's favourites, yep. Yeah. It's wrong, look. It's wrong? Yeah, look. See, see the colour, see silver? Oh, well that's just toys. Toys like look, that. Look, it's got bits that move. It's got obviously things that make sounds. You can obviously transform it by a twist. Let's get out of the box and let's take a look at it. Yeah. For me in Australia, the toy was $69.95. It's an easy to do transformer toy, so it's perfect for younger children. I just want to make it very clear I was not given this toy because people start saying, Oh, Leah, you're doing ads for these big toy companies. I don't do ads, I do reviews. And I'll have to do a few daddy steps to release this Optimus Primal. And these toys are quite difficult to get out sometimes because that stops them from being stolen in store. It's that simple. Oh yes, there's a lot of daddy snips on this one. There's, there's some constructions here with this uh, quite elaborate toy, but I've actually got the toy free of the box. And I'm sure my son will rejoice in playing with this one. Well, it comes with some fairly interesting instructions, a lot of languages here. It looks like a little character can ride on this as well. And I think you twist it in one direction to do, do the transformation. Do you want to have the first go at doing this? Yeah. Okay. Twisty Poos, oh yeah! And it's in dinosaur mode. That look bad. Oh yeah, let's look at the tail. Oh, look at that stinger tail it's got. Yes, this is one very powerful dino bot. Hang on, you can't drill yourself. That's not a nice thing to do. I'm just finding a character to ride on this toy. Well, there's a Mini-Me one, and I thought it was impressive. Man, when I saw this in the shops, even I got excited, and it's dangerous when I get excited about toys. Exhaust stacks here. Work the jaw. I think it's little arms, flooring arms here. Also work. If I press this, it's going to make lots of sounds. It's got lights on it. Uh, it's just really Toy Mojo heaven. There's that feature again, hopefully in focus. It may have been out of focus before. Um, it's the sort of thing that um, just gives lots of joy to young folk. I know my son's been itching to get it out of the box. He's been very good and patient to let it be just a review thing. That's great. And I think the way it transforms back is you push the button here on the top and then that little spinner back around to... It makes a sound. Thank goodness it makes a sound. It's going to save me making the sound. And it looks like we've got someone to ride. Let me switch it back. Yeah, it's really simple to go uh, from... Dinosaur to Dino Bot, wow, that is great. It matches in with the other toys we've got. Oh yeah. Bumblebee can. Bumblebee. Bumblebee can sit on top of Optimus Primal and have a ride. Very impressive. And I know we're going to get some kooky combinations going on. Look at this. Optimus Primal riding Optimus Primal. Now you won't see that on too many YouTube channels, will you? Yes. Uh -huh. Say no, not yes. <laughs> no. 
Just looking at the back of the box here, and it does talk about some others that were available. It's got Heat Wave there. It's got is it Boulder, and it's got Chase, the is it the police guy? Yeah. Um, but you know, when I saw this one, quite often what I found is the Optimus Prime toys are the first ones to go because he's the most popular character. So basically, when I saw him, I'm not even going to look at the price. I'm just going to get it because I knew my son loved this one so much. When I saw the Mega version. How could you not buy it? You know, this toy has got a sound chip in there. I could burn up a whole video just going through the sounds this makes. It's all the correct sounds, that's all I can tell you. Hey, it's time for a fight, I think. Yep. Um, which one of the bad guys is going to fight Optimus Primal? The crane, Die. strange knockoff Decepticon style guy is going to fight this guy here. Well this is a knockoff transformer toy, it's basically like uh, made up like a Decepticon. I think it's got something which is very Decepticon-ish there on its chest. This is actually a crane when it's in its other mode. My son was playing with those a bit, I was actually curious to see how he could transform these. They're a little bit tricky to transform but they're not too hard. Uh, I think they were from memory $15 or might have been a bit more than that to buy. I mean I found a knockoff transformer toys to be uh, as expensive as the real ones, probably the nicest way of saying that. But it's, we'll stop chatting like this and it's time for a fight. Okay, where's Optimus Primal? <gasps> oh no! Oh! That is a <laughs> it's getting chomped out here. Ooh! I think some stomping action is going to happen very soon. Oh! Ouch! That's got to hurt. I think you got some big feet there, you're going to stomp me out. Oh no, I'm down, I'm down. Oh, oh, the sound's right now. And he's still getting a chomp. I'm waiting for the stomp. Oh no, oh, not the drill. Oh, he's getting the drill. That's got to hurt. But possibly the most evil. Oh, he's transformed and he's coming in for a stomp. Oh, that Decepticon isn't looking too happy at all. And the winner is... Optimus Primal in all of his glory. Oh, that is a very impressive toy. Almost possibly worth a video all by itself, but I want to look at a bunch of Transformer toys in this video. We'll put this one to the side. It's a sort of toy, once you put your hands on it, you want to play. And we'll choose another one. Hey, let's choose another Transformer. Yeah. Okay, let's choose one. They're down on the ground here. I've got to try and get through all this in this review. I don't know how we're going to do it. Which one would you like to do next? Um, this one. Megatron. Oh yeah, it's one of the uh, one-step Transformers and they've been a very, very interesting toy in our place. While the Transformers one-step toys come in packaging like this, this one's been unboxed and played with, uh, but they are proven to be a very popular toy. Well, let's have a go at transforming the one-step Megatron. Okay. Oh yeah, that is very impressive. Well, here's Megatron. I'll spin him around nice and slow so you can have a look at the detail which is going on in this toy. It's very impressive for the fact that you just press that there and it turns to robot. It is the most impressive aspect. You're not doing your brain in trying to transform these things and it's not frustrating you. That's the key to the success of this toy. Hey, he's going to have a fight with someone. I think you should have a fight with the bad guys over there. Mm. But I've got a funny feeling you have another plan, haven't you? Yeah, but they only fight the bad guys. Yeah, I think the bad guys... Um, Actually, you should fight with the good guys, isn't it? Yeah. Who's a good guy you're going to pick to fight with him? I guess this one I get to choose Bumblebee. Oh, is that the High Octane one, wasn't it? Yeah. From memory, that was from a previous review. High Octane Bumblebee versus Megatron. Well, I've been given High Octane Bumblebee. It's one of those ones that transforms like a scissor style. Uh, it's going to be tricky to do one-handed, but anyway, I'll try and do my best to fight. Okay, ready to fight? <gasps> oh, oh no, he's on his roof. He's going to try and transform. Can I do it single-handedly? Oh, just... Oh! Oh! Somehow I transformed single-handedly. Okay. Oh no! I've lost control. Oh! He's dead! Because it looks like the uh, good guys have lost. It looks like their high-octane bumblebee is down and out. And Megatron is the winner. As awesome as he looks, he has won the battle. Okay, it's time to choose another toy to look at. Let's take a look. I'm not telling him what to choose, he's just choosing the ones he likes. Oh, that's a nice choice. It is the Optimus Prime. I call it like the four-wheel drive version. A rescue bot toy? Yeah. Let's uh, take it to the table. 
Well, this is a Transformers Rescue Bot toy. It seems like there's a whole bunch of variations of characters coming out with these. It's a bit tricky for me to find these. Um, this is what the box looks like. I've got to show you the box. You'll be saying, oh, but Leo, you never showed us the box. There's a box. This toy has already been played with and has been established to be a very good toy. Okay, let's see my son transform this into vehicle. Okay, it's like that. Like that. What? Is that simple? Yeah, it's like that. That's it. Okay. You do this. That's it. And he got it in there. Just got it in. And he sort of rides in his wheels when yeah. he's in uh, robotic mode. Well, here is this Optimus Prime. I dare say if you're a collector of Optimus Prime, it's another variation. He's starting to transform. Form me, get his wheels down and everything. Look, <laughs> he's looking a bit awkward, isn't he? Uh, some people are not going to like the look of this. Um, looks like something out of a farm. Uh, let's transform into robot slowly. So we can just see how he does and see his face. Okay. And I think, well, the main thing is, were you impressed by that toy? Do you yeah. like it? I think that's all that really matters. Okay, let's look at another toy. Oh, we're going to do a battle. Who's he going to fight? This guy. Ooh, interesting choice. This one here is, I've got to say, it's like a, a dump truck, but it, to me it never, I could never make it properly. Uh, I'll just see if my son can turn it into its robot mode. Uh, I struggle with that one. I'll see how it goes. I'll have to turn the camera off. It'll take a while to do it, I think. Then we play it on the Transformers out in robot mode. Okay, we'll fight his vehicle mode. I've heard Optimus Prime's around here somewhere and he looks sort of kooky. There he is. I'm trying to turn into a robot. And from the crazy battle, the winner is Optimus Prime. Let's choose another Transformer toy. Okay. Well, the pile's getting smaller. Which one's next? Which one is next? Ooh, that's a very curious one. It's a like a motorbike bumblebee, isn't it? Yeah. Very interesting choice. Well, here's how this toy looks. When it was in its packaging, it has been played with. My son quite likes this one. The back of the packaging looks like this. Blah, 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 blah. But the most prudent thing I can do is show you how it so easily transforms via my son's hands. Ooh, yeah. Very, very impressive. Do you know how four wheels? It's got four wheels. Yeah, look. Let's have a look. Yeah. They're, they're, they're being cut in half. Look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two on the back, sort of, and two on the front. And what is interesting for a motorcycle toy, it is actually fairly stable, which is nice. Okay, for a Transformer fight, who are we going to choose? This guy. Woo! Ooh. Uh, we've forgotten its name. I think it's, I've already looked at that one in the previous review. I think it was one that I said, it, to me, it didn't transform as I saw in the box artwork. But maybe I'm wrong. I always seem to be. Okay, ready to fight Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Bumblebee out. And it's a motorbike, and it's a rescue bot. Wow. I think we know who won that one. Motorbike Bumblebee. And uh, before we choose the next one, I've just been pointed out that, um, Look at that, one can ride on top of the other one. That's how children play. Believe me. Oh, I don't know which one's gonna be next. It could be anything, it's my son's choice. Very interesting choice, good choice. Well, this is Autobot Hound. Uh, I remember the scene where he bit the bullet and it fired, remember that scene? I have watched the movies now, but there's a lot to digest in them. This is a slightly more complex toy versus the one-step version that we looked at. And I only bought the more complex version because there was a lot of talk of people saying, ah, oh, but the one steps don't have enough detail and blah, blah, blah. It's an eight step transformer. If we look at the back of the box here, it transforms in eight steps, which really shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Although for me, it's a challenge. I think my son has managed this one, although I think it's a bit tricky to hide the last bit around. But just to remind her, the one step version of this character, it's a press here. And you've got a really good 
fancy looking toy with a ton of detail and I think that's going to give you, you know, if you're just out to a bit of play, fast action play without the frustration of Transformer toy, man, that's got its spot. But I was curious, I got this one here, and I'll just hand it over to my son to see how he transforms it to vehicle. I've had this toy for a couple of weeks now. Uh, the first time my son tried to transform it, either way, uh, he was struggling a bit. Even I struggled to finish it off. But I'm not going to show you the full thing here, I'll cut back to when he's made it. Apparently the devil is in the detail of when you transform these and where things fit and hide. And sure, there's things to learn about transforming these, it's actually getting there. But I don't know, just for me, maybe I'm lazy, I just like the simplicity of this. Man, I, I think that is just marvellous, the way those one-step guys uh, transform. If <laughs> You're not going on the fail reel, told you, I just love the way they do it. Um, I just absolutely love the way they simply transform, and it's a good toy either way. The sun's getting there. He's getting there. It looks like we got it. Yeah. Wow, but it didn't take you too long. Okay, the main thing is the gun hidden away underneath, because when we first played this toy, let me have a look underneath. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Is that right, where that goes? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll let you be. I'll let you be. Okay, all about hound. Uh... The gun's a bit tricky to hide away. There's some lugs on the side of the gun that actually clip into the wheel areas. Uh, and when you fold it up, it's a bit of a fiddle, fiddle, fiddle to get it to fit. I've had to help him just finish it off properly. And I hope I've done it properly because, <laughs> because I'm not an expert at this. But nevertheless, there's that slightly more eight-step transformer toy versus this one-step one. There's actually a few people saying, oh, we don't like the one-steps because they don't look good enough. Well, I'll be honest here. For the simplicity and great toy design you get in that, I'll go for that any day. But then again, some people like a bit of a challenge in life, and if you want a challenge in life, you can get far more difficult than this. Nevertheless, my son mastered that. Here it comes. It's got to have a fight. Um, who's he going to fight with? Mm. It's a good guy, this guy. He's going to he's got to fight with a bad guy. He's a bad guy. I better get into robot mode. <laughs> <laughs> I smell a transformer. Where is he? Oh, ah! I'm not losing this fight. Don't care how many guns you've got. Ah! 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 Ooh, when he shot, I think Autobot Hound is the winner. That was excellent transforming of that more complex toy. Hey, let's choose another one to look at. Yeah. Well, the toys on the floor are getting less and less, which is next? It's going to be... Ooh, that's a very interesting choice. Um, a bit of a story behind this one. Get him up on the table. Well, this Transformer came home and my son said, I want to play with it, I want to play. So it came out of the box. There it is. It's a very impressive Transformer. It's Optimus Prime, and in the way it transformed, it's also very different. But let me show you the back of the box. It's called Smash and change. Whenever you hear the word smash and change, it's always going to get children excited. It got me excited. I can tell you the back of the box looks fantastic. Also it talks about a Grimlock available as well. But one very disappointing aspect is, sure it's been played with, but we have lost a part of this toy. Optimus Prime here is meant to come with this amazing sword, but unfortunately it's missing in action. Hey Dad, I found sword. Have you? Where is it? It's oh. a tiny sword. Get out, that's not the sword! Yeah, it's giant. It's giant. Giant. Right, what's that? That's not the sword. The sword's meant to be massive. I know, but it... Take it, your sword, that's it, not the one. It turned to little. It's turned. You'll turn little in a second if you keep losing the things that I'm meant to be looking at on YouTube. Okay, show me how it transforms. Do it. It's that simple. That's the glory of this toy. It really is amazingly simple. Let me grab it because I need to do <laughs> He's putting a sword, a little tiny sword in his hand. Let me do it here. I don't want to know about that sword. Take that sword away. Oh, now it's inside the toy. Now it's probably going to wreck it. Let me see if I can do it here. Smash. And... That's right, the sword's in there, isn't it? And it... Got there. And the <laughs> Look where the sword is! Oh, I don't know. These children, um, we got there. 
and you saw a bit of smashing, I suppose it gets some people excited, but it's a very, very impressive version of Optimus Prime. Lots of exhaust stacks there, really nice flames on the front. It's a very exciting toy. Now, some of the purists are going to say, oh, but Leo, this is, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's not, the, it's not a Transformer toy because it hasn't got umpteen thousand steps. Well, who cares? I'm into simple and simple rules. And this Optimus Prime's got some articulation. It's meant to be holding a sword, but we've already told that story. It had the boy with it again. Hey, it's got to have a fight with someone. Choose one of the bad guys over there. Over there. Wrong side. No. <laughs> Choose one of the bad guys over there. There. Who's he gonna fight? Oh, I am Optimus Prime. And I'm gonna fight a nasty knockoff. Ooh, what's your name? You don't look very nice at all. I've got a little present for you. Watch out as I do it. Rawr! Um, Optimus, are you okay? Optimus. Ah, you can't stop Optimus Prime. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. I'm back up because I can't stop. They're going to make more movies of me. You can't kill Optimus Prime. That was crazy. Anyway, on a more serious note, before Hasbro has any more kittens, um, I will transform it back to. You gotta really, you gotta really slam it. And I know children love to slam toys, and he's one of the good guys, so he drives over that side. Time to choose another one. Which one's it gonna be? That one? Yep. Is that Chase? Yep. I'm slowly getting to know these guys. The guy we've never found was Blades. Did it ever make a toy of Blades? Yeah. And there's kinetic sand all through this toy. I, yeah, it had a bit of a play in the kinetic sand, as children do. That's all kinetic sand coming out. Okay, it's a Transformers Rescue Bots. These are easy to do toys. These are excellent toys. Uh, my son is five, so it's age, for ages between three to seven, so he's perfectly suited for this style of toy. And we've already had lots of them. Okay, you um, do a transform for me, please. Finally got a time. Very nice work. The rescue bots are sort of like Transformers for the younger children. They are all really good toys. Uh, the stories, well, the stories are sort of there to sell more toys. And I'm trying to think. Is he? He's just a sort of a smaller version of that one there, isn't it? Yeah. And then, we're going to fight already, are we? Yep. Who is going to fight Chase? Oh, I'd hate to think what's going to go on here. Uh oh, this look could be bad. Oh, I've heard there's some bad Decepticons, really bad ones, knockoff ones getting about, and I'm the shopping police to stop these knockoffs from getting about. Oh, I can see him. I've got to try and transform. My goodness, what is it doing? It's big and scary. It looks like Diesel 10. I better try and transform. I'm having trouble transforming. Oh no. Oh no, we have to fight as a police car. I've got sand, I've just transformed, I've got sand coming out of me because I've been playing in the kinetic sand. Oh, here I am. Ah, where is that Decepticon now? Come here, you nasty. Ah, 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 ah,
as um, as Faber today. So, hey, let's choose. Let's choose another one, hey? Let's go over to the pile of Transformer toys and choose another one. Okay, <laughs> we're down to our last four. Who's going to be next? Ooh, that's a very interesting choice. Whee! Well, it's a Transformers Rescue Bot and the character is Boulder. And Boulder seems to be a slightly different vehicle in this set. The son's already played with this one. He loves the Rescue Bots. Um, that's what the back of the box looks like, and he sort of makes a dump truck, which I sort of don't get my head around because I thought he was a bulldozer. But anyway, I'm sure the audience or my son can explain why he's basically transformed into something else, because I dare say it's all about selling more toys. Do a transformation for me, please. Let's see how he goes. Get the sand out. Get the sand out, yep. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of sand in that one. Come on, stop mincing about and transform. Well done. I, I don't think I even saw that, but I, um, believe me, these things transform really easily. They will not frustrate your children. They are really well-designed toys. And if you're wondering this, there's another boulder there. Um, that's like the one that goes on the giant Optimus Prime trailer job. Uh, very hard. It was very hard to find that toy. I was just very lucky to find that. Uh, the little one here, I don't know. I know which one I prefer. The one you're looking at on screen there. And I'll try and show you transformation single-handedly here to show you how simple this really is. Got to make the sounds if you don't make the sounds. It's not going to work. And I think I have got Boulder made. I hope I'm right there. I know the audience is going to be screaming, Leo, you didn't do it right. I'm pretty sure he's made and he looks pretty cool. And I had to come in and start doing the review because my son is totally distracted by this pile of kinetic sand that we're going to try and get rid of. Off it goes. I don't want to see it on the table anymore. Ah! But let's not forget, Boulder's got to have a fight with someone. Let's choose a sparring partner. Just coming in to choose someone to fight with. Ooh, nice choice indeed. I'm going to be the bad guy, Galvatron. I hope that's right there, the name. It twists the top, this twists on this one. If I go the right way, it goes to robot mode. I mean, that's the joy of these toys for the fact that it's all this sort of even single-handedly, you can change them. Okay, I've heard this. Rescue bots are bad and they've got to die. Where's the rescue bots? Yeah. 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 Ah, 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 I just can't understand as well. Oh. <sighs> Optimus Prime. You're going to die one day for this. Oh. <sighs> Well, from that epic battle, and Transformers do fight, let's choose another one, and there's only three more to go. This guy. Ooh, is he good or bad? He's a good guy. Let's get him up to the table. Ray. He's driving up, it looks a bit. Okay, it's a beautiful one-step Transformer. It is Prowl. It's actually a little bit tricky to find, I think. Look at the back of the box here. I've got a feeling the popular characters are the more tricky ones to find. Uh, that's my theory on it. Maybe you've got a theory as well. I know Optimus Prime can be very difficult to find. Do you want to do a transformation of Prowl for me instead of eating those lollies? Look how easy it is. It's amazing. Okay, can you transform me back to vehicle mode nice and slowly? <laughs> Never gonna happen, is it? I hope you saw that. Okay, he's a great at driving around. Hey, we've got to have a battle. Who's gonna be? One of the bad yes. knockoff guys? Oh, yeah. Okay, you ready to fight? Yep. I'll be, um, proud. Let me go and hide somewhere. I've heard there are some bad knockoff Decepticons getting about. And it might be dangerous being in vehicle mode. Oh, I think I can see one over there. Oh, I better transform. Somehow, single handedly. I'm ready to fight. I got a weapon here. Ah, 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 who would ever have guessed the dark side would have come in for a win like that? 
Well, let me go and park Prowl over in the um, this side over here. In fact, I think he's in the wrong side. He's not to be over the other side. Because I've sort of got all the one-step guys residing over here. There's a lot of them these days, I tell you. A bit of a secret one there. Um, up the back there. Let's go and choose another toy. Well, it looks like we've made a choice there. It's uh, Heat Wave. Yeah. Once again, I think there seem to be different designs to the other Heat Wave that we've got. Oh, we got to take help. Well, it's another Transformers Rescue Bot toy, and this is Heat Wave, and it's actually a robot to fire boat. So, being a boat looks pretty cool. The back of the packaging <gasps> looks like this. And the packaging's where it's at, because it's funny, I think my son, whenever he sees a variation of something, he gets excited. Um, I'm pretty sure Optimus and Bumblebee's his favourites. But um, he likes these guys. Let's see if he can do a transformation. Oh, <laughs> we've got a Dark Side Nasty still being repaired over there. We're not fighting yet, are we? Maybe we are. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's a premature fight. <laughs> oh, no. Even before he's transformed, he's gone. Oh, dear. Well, maybe so much for seeing him transform into a boat. Maybe I can do it. Um, no, make the sounds. Got to make hey, there. I've got... I think that's right. Oh, yeah. It looks like a speedboat. It's got some... Things that shoot water, and I've forgotten their names on the front there because, of course, it's got to go out and put out fires because it's all about rescue, isn't it? Because we know to have nice themes in these things. It's a very cool looking toy, and it's about to get pummeled. And as I found out, um, this is the main play activity of these styles of toys. They seem to fight all the time. Well, I think uh, Heatwave can um, just trickle over here and hide with the other rescue bots. I'm sure he'll be protected. There's lots of protection around him. <laughs> and again, I might have been totally wrong. He's uh, down on the ground. Yay! And then there was one. Yeah. There's one on the ground again. You want to get him up? Yeah. Good boy. Last and by no means least is Strafe. Got a funny feeling Strafe is one of the good guys. Of course, he's a one-step transformer. Uh, he's got the right symbol there to be a good guy, Autobot sign, and the back of the box looks like this. And what's interesting about this is it says to flap the change. So would you like to have a go to flap him and change him please? Let's see how he goes. Flap away and transform. Is he getting there or is he looking a bit awkward? That's it. Dad, in the movie, it's all sharp meant to be like this. Okay, so he's like a double-headed raptor. Yeah. Okay, I'll believe you. Uh, back of the box sort of confirms that. There he is there. Like a winged double-headed raptor. Well, here's a close look at Strafe here. There's a lot of detail going on here. I think it looks probably more awesome in its uh, robot mode like this. Just turn it around because there's lots of awesome. Look at here. There's the back of him. Uh, it's just a great looking toy, all sorts of nice details. It's a bit different to the others, there's basically like two cogs there, and when I talk about flap to transform, it's when you turn his wings, the transformation happens, it's sort of, it's clever. Um, you know, it's a little bit different to the others, I don't think his legs fold back, and there he is like that, like I've just done that single handedly, so that's the, uh, I think the absolute beauty of this toy design here, and it's like I said, there are people that don't like this. You know, they I think the hardcore Transformer fans are getting a hard, uh, having a hard time getting their head around um, just how this has revolutionised these little toys. Well, from the wreckage pile here of um, the knockoff toys that are falling apart as we play with them, notice that the real McCoy toys aren't falling apart. That's why those guys are there. Looks like my son has made like a what do you call it, a morphed version of one, like a hybrid one. And I think Strafe needs someone to battle. Oh, I can smell evil knockoff Transformers around and the Decepticons. I can hear them. There he is. Ah. Oh, he's shooting at me. Oh, no. I'm going to win this one. Whoa. Why do I sound like Optimus Prime? It's a worry, isn't it? Because I can't do any other voices. Ah, I'm transforming somehow. Ah. Oh no, I'm up against more than one here. This is impossible. I'm never going to win. Call, call the backups. Call the... Ah! 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 That is a 
Decepticons breaking up. The Decepticons, the fake knockoff ones, are breaking up. The more we play with them, the more they fall into pieces. But the real McCoy guys are tough and they just keep on fighting. He's not out, down and out yet. He's still up for a fight. <laughs> Well, Strave's had a very big battle there, and he's still okay. He's been smashed around, but he's still okay. There he's got back to um, Rabbit Mud, I think. I think his head is up, one of the heads is down. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad look, but he'll limp away. Uh, but anyway, these knockoff ones, I just double checked the price of what I paid for these. These are up. They're actually, it was between $15 to $22. So, um, you know. What are you paying for there? Part of them are metal and part is plastic. Some of them are fairly heavy toys. Um, but bits and pieces uh, just break off these so, so easily. And I think that um, even when you saw the packaging to these, they were trying to milk into the Transformers uh, mojo. Uh, but I think when you look at that there, I don't know, that looks very Decepticon-ish to me. They can fix these knockoffs. Fix the knockoffs? Mmm. That's a big job for Daddy there. Maybe you can make up your own hybrids from that, or maybe we can just, you know, put them under the hammer, but not the auction hammer. Hey, I've actually got something to show the audience here. It's a Optimus Prime that was given to me. Actually given to my son by the person who cuts my son's hair. And when I first saw this, I thought, wow, this looks like an older style of toy. And I'll show you the dates. On this toy here, the dates are hidden inside his legs. One leg says that, 1994 Hasbro Incorporated. The other leg, copyright Takara 1994. So this Optimus Prime here, if we go by those dates there, considering it's 2015 now, is 21 years old. But sometimes, as you know, with toys, you can get a date like that, but that doesn't mean the date that it was manufactured. I remember I did that Thomas video, talked about Erdl's like that. Uh, who knows about this toy? I notice it has a battery point here. Uh, my son, I mean, he, he loved it in his home, and I said, to the people who gave it to us, hey, don't give it to us, it actually might be worth some dough, but if I show it to the audience, I'm sure they're going to know. Uh, I'll see if my son will turn him into Optimus, so we can see the robot mode of this toy. Optimus is going through a transformation at the moment. Go make those sounds. Okay, my son has hopefully transformed this correctly. Uh, it didn't take him very long. It's a very interesting Optimus Prime, but it's got a very floppy middle and he tends to want to flop over. Like so. There's a bit of a closer look at Optimus's head. I think that's something that has sort of remained the same. People, uh, you know, look at this stuff very, very closely. And it's interesting, it's got a big toy history because remember Transformers is really all about the toys. The only reason we're getting those movies and you see them then in the $9 pile real fast is because it's all about selling toys. That's, I dare say, the sound button there. I'm just giving a good close look at this one because you may need to see details. Look, it's got cab details inside there. Of course, it's made back in the golden age of toys in a sense. It's interesting, his exhaust pipe there it moves. Looks like it's come out of the bottom there. Uh, I haven't done the, oh, one's the same. I haven't done that much research about this, but I know the people who know about this stuff I'm an audience. Well, I'll let this very old, 21 year old Optimus Prime have a bit of a lay down because if you're a toy and that old, you'd be wanting to lay down, probably got a few back problems. I will ask my son, which Transformer toy did you like the most in this review? Autumn. Amazing. I probably agree with you. Maybe the audience have got their favorites. I actually know I'll say that Dinobot, the big Optimus Primal thing was great, wasn't it? The giant one. That's funny, that giant Optimus Primal guy's gone. Where's it gone to? <gasps> uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, ouch. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. Oh, look at those jaws work. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, I think that's a victory. And it looks like it may not be over yet. It's starting to eat the wheels. And he's eating a bucket as well. I wonder if that's a KFC bucket. So maybe we've found the perfect purpose for those nasty clone knockoff transformer toys. The perfect fodder to have in a battle and fight and they break apart real easily. Oh yeah, watch out. Anyway, I hope you see that these toys are just amazingly awesome and a whole ton of fun to play with. Thanks for watching and bye for now. <laughs> Gotta have the tongue. What are you eating? Gummy bear sour. A sweet and sour gummy bear. Is that your secret to Toy Review Energy? Yep. Don't eat too many.